Hello boys and girls, welcome to Ben Chart, I'm for Classic and for today what I do have in here it is Necromunder Iron Gun, a game developed by Strayon on Studio and it is using Unreal Engine 4. So this is the graphical settings that I do recommend you to go if you have a GTX 1650 Super, so I'm using DirectX 12 and pretty much high presets 1080p. This provides you a very good experience, overall an experience above 60 frames per second. Not all the time though, as you can see 6% of the time the game was dropping under 60 frames per second. These were mostly during cutscene moments, so eh, it's a little bit irrelevant. Or you can go with median with 83% of resolution scaling, which would provide you an experience above 60 frames per second. So at 1440p, if I had to recommend a setting, I would say that, yeah, you should go with median. And even at median settings, you can expect your game to go under 60 frames per second. Pretty much half of the time of the game will be under 60. So my truly recommended settings wrapping all these results, as you can see, it is to go with 1080p high settings. Or alternatively, you can go with 1080p median. You might be asking yourself... Uh, what are the recommended settings? Uh, I mean the recommended uh, requirements for this game. It is uh, a GTX 1660 So which which is more uh, Powerful than the 1650 super and this is what they do recommend for 1080p 60 frames per second on maximum settings or epic for me I do think that there isn't really a big difference between high or epic the biggest difference that I saw it was on the volumetric lightning um, because it was much more defined and at the eye settings and median settings you can notice that there are it, it feels less refined you know the volumetric lights uh, it feels like there is some squares here and there so it's not as high a resolution as on epic but still it is really good and this game makes a ton ton of usage of volumetric lights all over the place so having this on epic it gets really demanding on these specific moments so again my recommended settings for this game it is 1080p on high it provides an experience above 60 for the most part uh, i did show you the results on uh, median settings with 87 83 percent of resolution scaling because the game defaults the resolution scaling to 83 percent if you don't use uh, the 83 percent of resolution scaling on median settings the boost in performance that is not really that great it's just like five to seven frames per second and honestly visual wise there isn't too much of a difference between median or high so whatever if you go with median or high the visuals should be fairly the same aside from when you use uh, resolution scaling uh, and yes that is a, a big difference though uh, when you use median settings on this game the game until aliasing it is fxaa so you might want to bump the anti-aliasing to high in order to use TAA if you prefer to use it. In my opinion, it gets the game much more cleaner, so I do recommend you to use anti-aliasing on high. So that's the performance that you can expect from Necromunda Hired Gun. One thing that uh, I want to mention is that there are some complaints about stuntering on DirectX 12. It still does happen on DirectX 11. Uh, I think that on DirectX 12 it is more pronounced. All right, but overall, I think DirectX 12 it feels smoother overall the entire experience. So this is a non-issue. Uh, it is already on the Steam page of the developer team saying that they know that they have a stuttering issue with the game, and stuttering happens on a special specific moment, which is when the enemy spawns on the map so every time an enemy spawn on the map you get a small stutter so if they spawn like seven enemies you get seven small stutters or five or six so yeah it's more or less like that but in directx 12 it is more pronounced but this will be fixed the developer team already pronounced about that and they say that this is a non-issue and it's on their plans to fix this on a future patch now let's talk a little bit about the game Necromond uh, Hired Gun, it feels that this game really, really took a lot of inspiration of Doom and Doom Eternal, especially because core gameplay, it is very fast, you can do tons of stuff like sliding around, double jumping, and there is also a grappling hook, which I didn't add at the time of this video, but yeah, this game inspires tons of, move tons of movement and uh, pretty much shoot on sight enemies. Uh, which is very fun, although it's not as refined as Doom. It will feel more clunky, and this game have free glory kills. For example, on Doom, 
when you want to perform a gore kill you have to hit the enemy one or two times and then you are able to perform a glory kill not on this game on this game you just need to go close to the enemy and perform a glory kill and just like doom you get a small boost in hp and also shield and you also get some items that might be yeah well good for you you know uh overall most of the people are really satisfied with the game the only downside of the people of people that have been saying and uh, i do agree the dialogues are really bad uh they don't offer anything great they are just the bad part of the game and also the story the story is pretty bad so regarding this game what i really think it is really really awesome it is pretty much a quarter gameplay despite it is a little bit clanky it feels awesome especially from a small studio like this one and honestly i'm i don't like to be this kind of guy but the graphics are simply amazing i mean warhammer visuals in here i'm and i'm not really a fan of warhammer but i really think that these guys really nailed that uh, the visuals the art style it's simply amazing all the atmosphere that these guys pulled it with unreal engine 4 and overall again the game it, it feels very well optimized it is not as well optimized as doom eternal or doom but still it is uh, enough optimized aside from these stutters that these guys already knew about it so most of the people have a little bit of mixed feelings about the game i'm no reviewer and i didn't play it enough about this game to say kind of uh, what is bad or what is wrong but my initial thoughts about the game it is really damn the graphics of this game are amazing and damn the gameplay it's exactly like doom but a little bit clunky there is another area on this game where you can talk with multiple different npcs and you can uh, evolve some of the parts of your own characters uh, the game seems to kind of encourages you to loot stuff and there are some side missions which uh, they are basically a target inside levels that you played before but honestly i really think you should visit a review if you are a, a good reviewer if you are really interested into this game but overall my thoughts on the first one two hours of gameplay is exactly this all right so guys i think uh, i've told everything i wanted about uh, uh necromander hired gun hope you keep enjoying the rest of the gameplay and i do hope to see you soon goodbye Where are you? Leto! What the hell's going on? I heard. I'm on my way.
can't handle a few, Escher. Eh, What's going on, Leto? It's not! How many of you are there? Go to hell! I'm in it. Damn! Leto! Leto! <sighs> Should have done this alone. Knew it. Always work alone. Let the brute have a little fun. Good.